In today's HVACR training video, we're going over what happens to the outdoor fan motor if you replace a bad capacitor with one of the incorrect size. In this case, you can see that this fan motor has a 5 MFD capacitor on its rating plate. Now, you can see that this capacitor says 5 microfarads, so that is the correct amount for the fan in this case. And you have 45 MFD, that's for the compressor, and that matches what is stated on the rating plate on the side of the compressor. So for this test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually disconnect the compressor wires off of this system, and I'm just going to test the fan motor. But the problem originates when a technician goes to replace a bad capacitor such as this, this 45 plus 5, and they don't have the right one. So then they're thinking, well, maybe I can put this 45 plus 7.5 in, or maybe I can install this 45 plus 3 MFD. And so I'm gonna show you what happens in all three scenarios. We're getting ready to do our test and I just wanna show you where these multimeter probes are connected to. We're connected to the C and to the fan on that capacitor. And then we're gonna be taking our current readings on that brown start winding over on the yellow multimeter and the run winding on the black multimeter. While the system is running, we can test the capacitor while it's under load and you see that we're measuring 0.75 amps on the start winding and so we take 0.75 times 2650 and we divide that by the voltage and we see the voltage is 371 and that's the back EMF off of the fan motor. And you can see we're measuring it with our probes right here. And so we take 371 and we are measuring 5.35 microfarads while the system is running. And so you can also see that the run winding is drawing 0.73 amps. The start winding is drawing 0.75 amps. They're very close. And now what's going to happen is I'm going to turn the system off. I'm going to replace this 5 MFD capacitor with the 3 MFD capacitor. As I hope you can hear, it's taking a while for the fan motor to turn on. This is the 3 MFD capacitor. You can see that the start winding uh, current right there is lower. It's only 0.41 and you have our run winding is drawing more current now. It's drawing 1.03 and so the issue here is the capacitor is the mechanism that is controlling the current to the start winding of the fan motor. So the microfarad capacity is going to control the current and so if you leave a system running like this your run winding may end up overheating and so that's going to be the issue here and it's also going to have a hard time starting up you're going to draw high current at startup that's also an issue you can also notice that we have a, a low voltage right here uh, so it's a lower back emf so we only have 317 volts now let's switch this out with the 7.5 microfarad capacitor as you can see our fan motor had no problem starting up but that's because we're drawing much more current on the start winding and that's due to our 7.5 MFD capacitor installed on this fan motor that's supposed to have a 5 MFD cap. Now on the run winding, you're seeing 0.43. So we have a significantly higher current draw on the start winding of that fan motor. As well, you see the back EMF is higher as well. And you see that this capacitor is actually only rated for 370 VAC. Uh, so that cap may not last very long. It's not a 370 slash 440, so it's not really made to withstand that. But you see that our current is very high right now. So if you left it like this, you could end up having a, a burnout fan motor due to an overheated start winding. So that motor would end up failing that capacitor is also going to end up failing. So takeaway one is to make sure to replace the capacitor with the correct size new one. And the reason for that is, is if you install a capacitor with an MFD reading that is too low, the motor on the start winding is going to not draw enough current and the run winding is going to draw excessive current. If you install a run capacitor that has a higher MFD than what's rated on the fan motor and on the compressor, what's going to happen is the motor is going to end up having a higher current on the start winding and a lower current on the run winding. And so that start winding is going to end up overheating and it's going to end up popping, breaking over time. So you want to make sure to, to not do that. Uh, when you are replacing a bad capacitor with a new capacitor, don't just replace it with the same, same capacitor that's in there. Make a, take a look on the fan motor rating plate and also on the compressor rating plate in order to determine what they are calling for because that's the true 
uh, microfarad readings needed for that system. So somebody may have put the wrong capacitor in last time and that's why it failed. Another takeaway is that the outdoor fan motor is not going to be pulling the correct amount of airflow across this coil if you install the incorrect size capacitor. Same thing with the compressor. It's not gonna have the same pumping capacity as it should have if it had the correct installed capacitor. So I hope this video helped you understand how the capacitor controls current to the start winding of a PSE motor. And so if you wanna learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of articles. We've got quick tips, quizzes, calculators. We also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. We've got a thousand question workbook. We have quick reference cards there. And we also have our physical resources over on Amazon as well. So I hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.